Anyway, we've just got... Everyone's loading in. Everyone's at 100% except for Parvin right now. So... Yeah, so we've got the... Ignite on Ezreal is kind of interesting, though, because he is up against a Graves, which has a lot of burst, but he doesn't have the safety of Barrier. So yeah, the one thing I'm worried about bot lane then is it's kind of really aggressive to run Ignite. So they might get a kill on Nami early, or a kill on Graves maybe, but if they don't, they're going to be in a lot of trouble, especially against someone like LeBlanc. But yeah, I'm really most excited to see this LeBlanc, because LeBlanc's one of my favorite champions, and she just does a lot of really cr cool things. Even when she messes up, it usually looks kind of silly. We also have to consider that the Ignite on Ezreal probably won't be that useful after a few minutes in the game for the laning phase, because they have a Shin. That is true to an extent. You can't just Ignite, secure the kill all the time, because Shen's like, ooh, I, my ult's better. Can't play offensively with the Ignite, You'll, that Shin will come in, and then you have no barrier, and you can't get away. If Ezreal ever uses his E offensively, I feel like he's in big trouble. Yeah, well when you E into a Graves, you're just asking for pain. But also that Ignite might not be as useful later on, just because they're playing a poke comp, so they're not going to be in range for Ignites a lot of the time. There's also no, like, specific champion on their team that absolutely bans an Ignite. So that limits its use. But it could work. We'll have to see. It could also just be a comfort thing. Like, if you're really used to playing with Ignite, it's really weird not having that damage. That's me when I play without Flash. Anyway, it looks like both junglers are going to start on the bottom side of the map, which is the most common start. Although we might have a little bit of an invade coming on. Looks like... Oh! Flash shot! Oh. That's close. Yeah, but that did burn Vi's flash, which means her ganks won't be nearly as good. And Shen's kind of a little bit safer even without his flash than Vi would be, because he already has the taunt, whereas Vi's jump is kind of her initiation tool. I don't think Shen's going to have anything to worry about for a very long time now. Yeah, I don't think Jarvan does that. I mean, J4 does that well against Shen. Like, I think it's just a farm lane, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure Shen just sustains, because Jace just has so many mana issues early. His cooldowns aren't as good as they used to be. But we'll just see. Everything's starting out pretty normally. I'll just fix the scoreboard real quick. Yeah, I don't expect anything to happen until at least level 2, probably. Level 2 things might happen, because that's when, like, Shen gets his Q, Jarvan gets his EQ. And that's when LeBlanc gets her combo. So yeah, LeBlanc. She I does totally that. Missed it. Yeah, she just she hit level two immediately and then immediately did the QW combo. And just was able to get a second Q ignite under tower. Vi is coming mid, but she's not going to get that much done, and she has to be careful. So yeah, that was a very quick first blood, and that's going to make this lane really bad for Nidalee. Once Nidalee hits here. level 6, it's a lot safer, but until then it's like, oh, you just die. Nami's eating a lot of poke from Ezreal bottom lane. 
Just yeah, like, another combo and Q from LeBlanc, and Nidalee's gonna have to go back pretty soon, probably. We have a gank on Shen, and... Just he's taking fire. damage, but he's not gonna die. And top lane, neck and neck. Both at 16, or were. Uh, Nidalee lucked out a little bit. Uh, LeBlanc backed off, and Nidalee had a huge wave that she was able to farm. But the ping is going out there. You can see Graves has a CS advantage on Ezreal right now. By It was more considerable before, but it's still 6 CS right now. Jarvan just sitting in mid, so Nidalee is just going to have to recall. And Shen taking a lot of damage up top. He's going to have to be careful. Like, he can farm under turret, but if he tries to go out too far, he might die. Jarvan is very deep here. This could be trouble. Taking a lot of turret shots there. Yeah, no one died, but they all got pretty low. That should be a pretty large advantage for... Team 11, especially since Nidalee can't really help. She's not level 6, and there's no one super low. Ezreal at least luckily managed to stay with a bunch of health, so he can farm really well. He's one of the best people to farm from long range. Nidalee has to be careful here. If she gets spotted by that ward, LeBlanc could just combo her. Shen is about three-fourths of the way to level six, so his ult will be getting into action soon. And LeBlanc is level six, so we'll have to watch out for that huge burst. One thing you can do too, which is really nice, is you ult, sh you Shen ult onto LeBlanc. And then you go in with as LeBlanc. She's roaming, he's got a ward, but I don't know if he can get back in time. Chase is gonna eat a combo to the face. Or not. Never mind. That was a nice knockback. That was a big misplay by LeBlanc, I feel. Like, she could have just done the QR combo for tons of damage. But I think she was trying to get the uh, ethereal chains. And that was really greedy. I'm not quite sure how new LeBlanc works. Is it still QR? I thought it was like QWR or something now. And LeBlanc somehow dies. It's because LeBlanc just took a ton of turret hits. Like, she's trying. What she's trying to do is the ethereal chains twice to get the extra snare. But it's taking her so much longer to do her burst, and it's so much more awkward that she's just not benefiting from it. Like, you can just do the QR combo for the burst. But yeah, she's definitely trying to use the chains because it does have the snare at the end of it, and if you can line them both up, you get a very long snare. But in the meantime, we've got Vi coming bottom lane, and she has not... She has got her ultimate. Shen's gonna have to ult. That is a... The and Shen, Shen dies. Oh, Shen died. It looked like Shen was busy diving Jarvan, just... or Jace, just by the look of where he was at the time. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go back and try to see what happened there. Ah, uh, Shen decided okay, to man so fight. fighting near Jace. Oh, it looks like they, he just overextended and Jace caught him out. Then Jace barely doesn't die. Yeah, Shen decided to man fight, and he was not able to man fight. But the gold lead 
is non-existent. It's maybe 100 gold. So this game is still very even. It's just and better farming for... Meanwhile in live, B just died, but I missed that. Well, LeBlanc comes down, but she's still doing really weird combos. She gets the kill on Vi, but... Oh, I wasn't quite live. Purple's doing dragon. And let's think blue. I yeah, that is a dragon, so that was a good rotation from LeBlanc. Jarvan came down too. That's the kind of thing you really want to do, is you get a kill, you get an objective. If you actually look at that dragon though, they didn't... Either they didn't have smite, they did not have smite. Jarvan didn't have it. So if Nidalee, I guess they didn't know about it, Nidalee probably could have used her spear and she would have had a very good chance of getting it. Yeah, just handing over the blues. Blanc already has her double buff. That's kind of nice. But Nidalee with blue should be a lot safer in mid lane as long as she doesn't overextend. Already eating some harass. Yeah, but that's just kind of a fact of life. I'm really interested in this mid lane though, because Nidalee did a bunch of damage. Vi's ult is up, but she's Jarvis not going mid. In, but Vi is in the area this the could be really bad. I don't think Vi is going to get there. Oh. She won me too, okay. So... I keep seeing all of their different shields and thinking that Shen ulted. <laughs> Shen did ult that time though. That time but he did. Meanwhile in the bot lane, Graves died to Ezreal and Sona. That was a Sona ult, I believe. But yeah, this LeBlanc just really not working out. Like, she got the level 1 first blood. Level 2 first blood. But she just keeps going in awkwardly. I don't know. I feel like she just needs to stop trying to be better than she is and just do the easy combo. Nami ult for Nami Chase. Yeah, I they want they want this Sona, and they should be able to get her. They should be able to get, uh, especially if she can land a uh, one more thing. Is she not going? I guess she didn't want to take the kill. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Yeah, just misplayed. Like if Nami had been auto attacking that entire time, they had the kill. Like Ezreal doesn't have barrier. There comes an ult just to stop the wave. Yeah, and this Shen's in a lot of trouble. Ah, but flash and no ult from Vi. The Blanc wants to come up. I'm not. Yeah, she's just gonna back out, which is the right choice. Uh, she missed her E that time. She had to go back. Yeah, but that's fine. Like you toss out that E. Sometimes you don't hit it. But I think it wasn't important. A lot to try to be doing a double E combo on Anjali. Because if she goes into cougar form, you're going to have a very hard Well, the first E is really easy to, really hard to hit, but the second one isn't. And that time made sense, because she wasn't in range for the QR combo. Like, she had to W to get closer. So I'm okay with that. Plus, it wasn't going to be a one-shot kill. So you might as well save the ult for a little bit later if you think you can. But the gold lead is steadily increasing for PB and J. They have the first two towers of the game. Although we'll have to see if they can do something with it. Because I know a lot of teams will just kind of get stuck. Like they'll take a tower and then they'll be like, what do I do? 